So for writing, we are now working on a fun comic strip because we just finished a really heavy duty paper. So what I want you to do is you need a protagonist. Ooh, there's a new word. What is a protagonist? Who can tell me what a protagonist in a story or comic book is? A protagonist. There is a protagonist and an antagonist. What is a protagonist? Owen. Yes, very good. The protagonist is your, could be your hero, your main character, your good guy. So if your protagonist is your good guy, what is your antagonist going to be? Uh, um, M. The bad guy. The bad guy. Dun, dun, dun. So. Your comic strip, you all worked on, you have your protagonist. And my virtual kids, this is something you are going to have to work on. You need to make a comic strip, and you need a good guy and a bad guy. What is needed in a good story? You need a storyline, and you need something that is causing a problem. What is happening? You have a protagonist and an antagonist, which is going to tell you that you're going to have a problem. Problem is going to arise in our cat and our mice. What was the problem that the mice were trying to figure out or come up with a plan? Grayson. Um, they didn't want to be chased by the cat anymore. Right. And so what was their plan of attack initially? What were they going to do and put on the cat, Emmy? Um, a bell. So the conflict is in this story was that the mice were getting chased. They were annoyed by the cat. Who was the protagonist in that story, would you say? Depending on what side of the story you're on, but... McKenna, who did you feel was the pro? The, the what? The cat. Who were the protagonists in the story? Cole. The mice. the mice. Who was the bad one in the story that was causing the annoyance and the conflict? Tessa. The cat. The cat. Conflict. What does conflict mean? In every good story, where you have good fighting evil, you have a conflict. What does conflict mean? Everybody, focus and track. I am tired of seeing you all not paying attention. I realize you had two days off, but you still have to focus. What is a conflict in the story or in a movie? What would you say the conflict is? Olivia. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Olivia. Problem in the story. So today, why on earth did Mrs. Reed have you write a little story, little mini, on how the mice would go about putting a bell on the cat? Because this is a way for you to start coming up with how to come up with a solution and how to work through a conflict. Because in your comic book or in your comic strip, you're going to have to have a conflict against your protagonist and your antagonist. What is going to happen? How are they going to find a solution? So the conflict is the building up the excitement in the story. There could be several conflicts in the story. But we're only going to focus on one for your comic because it's not going to be an epic. It's going to be a short comic strip. But what I want you to start thinking about is we are going to diverge from your comic hero and your antagonist and your protagonist because you already have kind of established what you want to write about, who are your characters. But now I want you to focus on this conflict. How are the mice going to get the bell on the cat? We're going to say 
that the mice are successful. They are successful at putting the bell around the cat's neck. How on earth are they going to do that? So today, for your mini, you are going to create this conflict. You are going to show how the mice are victorious because they are, yay for the mice. They overcame a very big obstacle. This is all fun. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be realistic. It is fun, it's whimsical. I mean, you can even give the mice supernatural powers. I don't care, you can do whatever you want. This is fun and this should be enjoyable. But you are going to create this conflict which is the mice versus the cat. The antagonist is the cat. The protagonists are the mice. You are going to come up with a solution for the mice. Now you all had some really good ideas yesterday. Does anybody remember any of these great ideas you came up with? We were, had an awesome brainstorming session. You, guys, you all had some fantastic ideas. So if you want to take one of those that we talked about yesterday and incorporate that into your mini, fabulous. You want to come up with something completely different? Fabulous, but this is teaching you how to write a conflict. Because in your comic that you are making, you're going to have to have a conflict between your antagonist and your protagonist characters. So this is a way for you to start thinking about how this all looks. Any questions? Cole? Can we do it in a comic strip or just write it? Um, write it. Because we're just, this is a mini paper, a little mini. So, so you can, this is like all your other papers. These are all little tools for you to use when you write your ultimate comic. So make sure you keep these in a safe place. I want you to brainstorm how you are going to resolve the conflict. Does this make sense? Does anyone have questions, concerns, what, anything? Jonathan. Uh, maybe more than one. More than one conflict? I would like you to focus on one today. So the conflict is how the mice are victorious in putting the bell on the cat. That is all we're writing about right now. That is our conflict that we're writing in our mini. Yeah, I'm saying like, how it can turn Oh, you're saying like two scenarios. Sure, if you have time, but focus on one being really good, okay? And if you have time to do the second one, then absolutely. Yes, Grayson. Um, when we're done, can we read it to like the class? If we have time. But I want you to take time and do this. I keep thinking, I keep staring at baby Yoda back there. Um, <laughs> um, I want you to focus on this and make it really good. The purpose, again, is for you to start thinking, how do you do this? How do you write this? Because then you're going to write this in your comic. All right? Music or no music? Music. All right. So for my virtual friends, if you have any questions, what we are working on now are comics. This is our next writing project. So it's fun. It's whimsical. It's enjoyable because you just did the heavy Martin Luther King Jr. So from our discussion yesterday, so what you need to do is get a, here are your, your character, I want a good character, and I want your protagonist, and I want your antagonist, meaning the bad guy. So once you form those ideas, that is the beginning of your comic. And now we are working on conflict. So this is all building up for the ultimate comic strip. All right, so I am going to let you write.